Typhoon Nida is moving closer to the coast of Guangdong. The Hong Kong Observatory says it expects to replace the strong wind signal number three with the tropical cyclone warning signal number eight at or before 8.40 tonight. According to the present forecast track, Typhoon Nida will be rather close to Hong Kong tonight to tomorrow morning. Its center will skirt within 100 kilometers to the northeast of Hong Kong. We expect winds will start strengthening significantly um, around dusk today. And after sunset, there will be heavy rain with squalls and rough seas. Members of the public are advised to stay away from the shoreline and not to engage in water sports. Porch furniture, flower pots, and other objects that can be blown away should be taken indoors. And we cross over live now to Adam Shu, who is standing by at the outlying islands ferry pier in central. Adam, how's it looking out there? Hi, Chris. Uh, I'm at a central harbour front and overall it's all good here. No rain, not even drizzling, and the fi except for a few gusts of wind. The wind has cleared a haze hanging over the harbour as well as the heat that has been uh, trapping Hong Kong um, uh, for the better part of the day. Uh, the sea has not got very rough and th the waves are not strong, but to play safe, the ferry operators say, there will be no more ship services to outlying islands later tonight. Um, the last ship for Changchao, for example, will leave at around 8.30. And this is so much for the live report here in Central. Back to you in the studio. Adam Shu reporting. Now, as the storm edged closer to Hong Kong, services were gradually shut down. The Education Bureau suspended classes at kindergartens and special schools. Ferry and cable services were suspended. As Anne-Marie Sim reports, the airport authority canceled more than 120 flights to and from the city. This morning's calm before the storm, as ominous grey skies loomed over Hong Kong. The Hong Kong Observatory issued the strong wind signal number three at 11.40 this morning as Nida edged closer to the city. At lunchtime, Cathay Pacific and Dragon Air announced that all departures and arrivals to Hong Kong International Airport from 10 p.m. today and 2 p.m. tomorrow would be suspended. The airline added that rebooking, rerouting, cancellation and refund fees would be waived for tickets issued on or before today for travel from August 1st to 3rd. Despite news of the cancellations, some passengers still turned up at the airport to try their luck and see if they could get on a flight. This traveller said she was worried that she would not get to Los Angeles in time for her son's graduation ceremony. While this man, hoping to get home to Taiwan, said he would have to stay at his friend's house now as his flight was cancelled. China Airlines said it suspended nearly 20 flights between Taiwan and Hong Kong. Some tour groups have found themselves stranded here too, like this one from Shenzhen, which was in Hong Kong for a connecting flight to Taipei. The tour operator said it would arrange for the group to get on the earliest flight out, but warned their trip may have to be cut short. The Travel Industry Council added that it was too early to say how many tour groups have been affected by the storm so far. The airport authority said as of 5 p.m. it had cancelled 120 flights to and from the city and urged passengers to check its website for the latest flight information before coming to the airport. As a safety precaution, the Education Bureau announced the suspension of classes at kindergartens and some special schools. Turbojet ferry services between Hong Kong and Shenzhen airports were suspended, while First Ferry stopped some inter-island sailings at around 5 p.m. Container port operations were also halted, while tourist attraction the Nongping 360 cable car also suspended its service. Anne-Marie Sim, TVB News. Now, it's important to note that Yun Moon was one of the hardest hit areas during previous typhoons, and both the government and the public aren't taking any chances this time around. Caleb Lung has that story. As Typhoon Nida approaches, workers from the Drainage Services Department carried out flood prevention work at Yun Moon, a location which sustained heavy damage during past typhoons. Some stores located near the coast also used their own ways to brace for the typhoon. This restaurant staff said, because Leiyu Moon is in a low-lying area, it's easy for fish and lobsters to escape from their tanks. 
So this time, they have finished the protection works 10 hours in advance. Fishermen also dock their vessels away from the shores to avoid any possible mishaps. A meteorologist said Typhoon Nita may bring a storm surge to the territory, causing floods in low-lying areas. He expects the tide will begin to rise starting at midnight. The last time a serious storm surge affected Hong Kong was in 2013, when Typhoon Usagi hit Hong Kong. Serious flooding affected Lei Yumun at that time. Caleb Leung, TVB News.